Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today guys, we're continuing with this Peugeot Partner van. Hopefully, I'm gonna get all the other side completely painted and finished and ready for an MOT, possibly tomorrow. We will see. Um, it definitely won't be today because of the painting, but fingers crossed I can get him booked in for tomorrow and we'll get this MOT'd. Because this is the last project, I've got to be honest, this is the last thing that I've got going on. Um, everything else is done, sold, finished, out the door, gone. Um, so yeah, I need to sort of try and uh, get some new projects this week. I'll hopefully try and get something today. Who knows, depends on whether or not people want to push up that um, first um, you know, pre-bid before the auction starts. Silly, silly people. Silly, silly people. But, you know, they want to do it. So, yeah, I'm looking at a load of vehicles to this week, guys. Hopefully, we can get something and uh, I'll let you know if I do and when we do pick up a new project. Looking at loads of different things this week. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say too much, but, yeah, loads of different cars. Some I've never done before. Some I have. Uh, bread and butter cars, you know, anything that I feel like it's going to sell well in a minute, um, I'm going to go for. So, yeah, hope you had a great weekend. It was Bank Holiday Monday and um, it was a nice day actually yesterday for me. Yeah, really nice day. Had a little walk around down the seafront uh, with the family, uh, fish and chips by the sea, which was great. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, it was nice. It was cool. But back on it, uh, very busy. Hopefully, this week, uh, we will see. So, let's do this. So, guys, here we go. Um, I've spun the van round just because, you know, it's, I think this is going to be a better way of spraying it because, obviously, then I can get the fan, once I'm doing the spraying, get the fan, and it can blow it out towards the door. So, yeah, I don't want it too close to the door, but close enough to get yeah to get it sort of blown out the um the overspray and all bits and pieces so yeah that's why i've spun it around uh we ain't that we ain't um ready you know for painting straight away we've still got some prep work to do um i still want to have a little go at this filler here i don't know if you can see it but there's some really tiny little holes in this so i want to get that a little bit more flatter just rub that down and uh, have a go at that. I've got a, an area over here that I want to rub down as well. So I'll rub all that down and see how that looks. We'll put a little bit of primer on it, on, on all the areas as well. Um, they look like that, see that there, little chips. So I'll rub that back, a little bit of primer, and that'll be flat. I'm just gonna go over and over and over and over. <laughs> just keep looking to see what I can find and, and you know, just make it a little bit more um, better when it comes to finishing the paint. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing first. I do think we need to get the door on. Uh, I'll take this tape off. We'll hang the door, we'll slide that in place, um, and then we'll just have a look at the whole side and see what um, we need to do as prep work first. So yeah, let's get cracking. Um, I'll set you up, let's do this.
Right, okay, guys, it is definitely, definitely getting there now. Uh, we're moving along. Uh, I have been jumping in between doing this um, and jumping over on the laptop, um, bidding up on some cars. Uh, I, I tried to win, I think it was free, um, but they went up too much. So I've got one more to look at at the auction today. Uh, and I don't win that, then there's tomorrow. So, yeah, I've um, <laughs> just been really busy already, just jumping back to forwards. I've got to leave um, in about an hour as well. I've got to go and pick up a little job quickly for someone with the trailer. So I'll hitch that up. Um, just, it's just a quick job for someone, you know what I mean? Just, just um, yeah, just help someone out. So I'll go and do that, then I'll come back, then we'll carry on, and then we'll get this painted, hopefully. Uh, but for the minute, um, we are getting there. I've taped up the areas that I think I'm going to sort of go to. I don't know if I'm going to go this far, but I thought, you know what, let's just tape it up just in case we get a little bit of overspray. Um, and then I'll key up this area as well, all over here. Just key it all up, and then if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. It's no it's no big deal, really. Because um, all I do is key it up with a little bit of 5, um, 1,500 wet and dry all over, across. And then if it comes to it, if it don't go over it, um, I'll probably go a lot, I'll probably go to about here, to be honest with you, with the paint. And then go a little bit further with the lacquer. So I might just sort of, um, yeah, I might just sort of key up with that with the fifteen hundred wet and dry, all the way to the end. And that's why I taped it all up, all that to the end. Um, and this is the finish point as well. So it's always best to end the paint where the finish point. There's no point in ending it here. So if you end it up here, there's less less likely, less chance of you noticing it, seeing it, um, and there'll be a better chance of you blending it in um because it's, it's it's quite a small area which is the same here um even though we've got a little bit of a dent here um i'm still going to sort of end it up to here anyway do you know what i mean it, it, i was looking at it thinking right well yeah let's repair that but then if i'm repairing that i've got to go even further and if i go even further there's stuff up here and there's stuff up here and then i've got to repair that and you just keep going on and on and on and on with this kind of thing um if it just, don't get me wrong, if it just had that dent and there was nothing else on the van, it was absolutely spotless, I'll be doing it. But because there's bits all over the van, you've got to stop at some point. You've got to go, enough's enough. That's it. That's where it's got to be. So, yeah. Um, I actually will try and get that little dent out with, with the um, dent, uh, dentless uh, paint stuff. You know, my paintless dent removal tool. I might just get it out. Give it a little pull and let we'll, let we'll see if we can get it out. So, yeah, don't worry about that, guys. <laughs> so there we go. Um, I have got to do a little bit more sort of covering up. I want to cover up these holes, um, all these holes where the where the panel was there and there, right across. And I also want to cover up the door handle holes as well, so a little bit of tape. But there's no point doing those bits and pieces until I've gone over the whole panel area with the 1500 wet and dry. Once I've done that, and it's dry, then I can cover up these panels, uh, these holes and stuff, yeah, for the handles and the panels. So yeah, um, but it's good. the point is, is, is I'm trying to make it better than what it was and trying to get the repairs. You're never gonna get a repair, well, you try and get the repair as 100% and as perfect as you can, uh, but not, me personally, not being a painter or body shop or anything like that, experience-wise, yeah, I'm learning as I go, and I'm getting better and better and better at it. And yeah, um, that's 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 the process, really. So there we go. Uh, let's set up. Let's get this rubbed down with some wet and dry, and then we can fill up all the holes, um, and we'll get ready for paint. Then we'll go off and get the car. The, the uh, we'll go off with a transporter. We'll get that pickup picked up. I'll come back. Then we'll crack on and get this painted. And then I'll, I'll see if I can bid up on that last vehicle that's going through today. And uh, if not, we'll do some bidding tomorrow. But let's crack on, guys. Let's do this.
Right, okay, guys. So it's been, um, a, well, it's been a couple of hours, actually, to be honest with you, because I went and done that little job with the trailer. Uh, picked that one up, dropped that one off. So that's done. Um, before I went, I just quickly put over the, the, the you know, the, the cover, the, the sheet, the plastic film. Just taped it all up, um, cut it all out where I need to be cutting out. Uh, covered up all the holes that need to be covered up just in case any paint goes in there you never know um i haven't backed taped this edges here because i do actually want a little bit of paint to go down there um i have i have done it right in the right in there um which is covering the actual door rubbers but i didn't want to cover um the back back taped it like we have to back we have to do like back tape it it's quite, kind of strange but See what I've done here? You have to back tape it along the back of the arch and then tape it there and then you can stick the tape to it. So I didn't do none of this where, where I should do there really because I want it, like I said to you, I want it to go down a little bit. Um, but yeah, we're kind of getting ready guys for a bit of paint. I've got to be honest. But I do want to get this floor completely wet. So I'll get the, um, I'll get the old karcher. Uh, out in a minute and get all this floor wet so it just keeps the dust down uh yeah it did to be honest with you it did help i've done it both ways i've done it without doing it and i've done it with putting some water down the last time i did a bit of painting on the van and uh it does help because it does keep the dust down it doesn't it doesn't you know allow the dust to rise or move about on the floor so i'll be doing that um and then we'll be panel wiping the whole side um just making sure that you know we've, we're, we're wiping we're cleaning we're wiping we're cleaning before we, we lay any paint down so that's what i'll do and then i'll lay some paint over the uh, filler parts you can see that i have gone over the whole back this side with some uh, 1500 wet and um 1500 wet and dry sandpaper so all the actual areas are pretty smooth now it's pretty good it's just that and it's all keyed up you can see like it's a bit rough down the sides it's all rough and, uh, and I've keyed up all the areas really that if any paint hits it, it'll it will stick and be okay. But we need to give it a good old wipe and clean. So that's what we'll be doing next. Um, and then I'll lay some paint down and then we'll just keep building it, building it, building it until I'm happy. So yeah, let's see how this goes. <laughs> let's do this.
Right, okay guys, so yeah, there we go. Uh, all the actual uh, base coat is all been laid on and I've done underneath as well. Uh, made sure that the floor's wet as I've done it. And it has helped quite a lot, to be honest with you. Um, you know, it's just, it is what it is. I've got to put some lacquer down now and then we'll just see how that looks. But, um, you know, I'm not expecting it to be perfect. Don't get me wrong, but better than what it was, definitely. So, yeah, I'm just showing you exactly what I'm doing. So, let's uh, let's leave that for a few minutes to tack off, <clears throat> and then we'll give it, give it a go, start giving some coats with the clear lacquer. So, yeah, guys, let's keep going. <laughs> let's do this. So guys, there we go, another painting job done and complete. Uh, we will see in the morning what it comes out like, but you can see that, do you know what? It ain't that bad, it's pretty good. I did, um, I did put another coat on this one, to be honest with you, and a little bit thicker on the last one. So it seems to sort of lay out a little bit better and sort of, sort of spread a little bit. It's not as warm today. We have got a little couple of little bits of uh, dust <laughs> in the clear lacquer, which was, you know, I'm not in a spray booth, so it's gonna be expected, but a little bit of flat and polishing, and I think I should be able to get that up, but not too bad, not too bad at all. So basically the last thing uh, I've got to do is, I've got to take this tape up like that, there, and we've got to go into with a little bit of fade out thinners. I'll do that. Let's see if I can get it off there. I'll do it now to show you. It don't take much, this, uh, this fade out thinners. Uh, it's really thin stuff. So yeah, when you're sort of laying it, this is what it is, uh, a blend, ultra blend. I, know, I keep calling it fade out. I suppose it is a fade out thinner because it is really thin. This stuff, but you can see like it's, 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 it's right there is where the kind of lacquer is ending. So all you just need to do is just need to give it a few coats, 
like that. The same over here. It's about there, I think that's where it's ending. Like that. I'll have a look at it in a minute, see how it goes. Might have done a little bit more, but um, yeah, that's basically how you do it, how you fade it out, like the lacquer with that. Yeah, good stuff. Right, guys, time has absolutely run away with me today, and um, that is going to be the end of today's video. Um, hopefully tomorrow we can be winning some more vehicles from our projects because this is the last one. And it's getting, uh, it's getting, it's getting done pretty quick. To be honest with you, after I've done this, it's a case of flat and polishing it, put all the trims back on, all the handle stuff back on, and then basically just put all the, the inside stuff. So it's only really another day. I'll be honest with you. Um, depends how bad the actual in, internal is. I haven't done this seat, so I ain't cleaned all that side of it yet. So I've still got to do a little bit of that. So it might drag on a little bit for another couple of days, but we need to get some more projects. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry i'll find something um yeah so guys that is going to be the end of today's video don't forget to drop me a comment if you've got anything to say don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like what i'm doing really appreciate it and like share and subscribe to the channel guys really appreciate all the support and any little push that any of you can give me when it comes to social media and that sort of stuff. Just, yeah, just trying to sh share them on your sort of social medias, like Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all that sort of stuff. Really appreciate it. But for now, take care. See you soon in the next one.